Hey guys, this is Rocket Brand, and we are here with a tutorial for Pix.io, which is our current digital asset management platform of choice. Uh, what we really like about Pix.io is that it allows you to build everything off of Google Drive, which is really great uh, because we are already paying for Google Drive to store all our assets in the cloud, and so it seems kind of silly to pay twice, right? So. Uh, what's really great about it is that you have unlimited storage uh, for the same uh, effective price. Um, but what uh, can be a little tricky about it is that Google Drive itself can have some issues uh, because if you don't have proper permissions for every single file, you can have a little bit of quirkiness uh, when it comes to importing them and seeing them properly load into Pix.io. And so the main usual culprit here is going to be that someone else created these files using their own Google Drive and then they're sharing those files with you and those files are not owned or properly accessed to your digital asset management platform and then when they get loaded in sometimes Google Drive can be a little slow or a little forgetful when it comes to updating those permissions. So here's a workflow that will make sure you never miss an import of any of your files and it's pretty simple and it makes use of Google's new file stream program which is free for anybody who has Google Drive which obviously you have Google Suite or you wouldn't be watching this. So if you to start out if you don't have file stream Google Google fi Drive file stream or Google file stream if you forget to put in Drive Google smart enough to fix it. Either way you're gonna click this first result for file stream support if you didn't get brought to this page, it just means you need to log in to Google. It'll give you a little button right around here that says log in. You can do that and then download this program to install file stream. Click the button. It will give you an X. You do that. You install this thing. I assume all you guys are smart enough to do a Google Drive file installation. Basically, you'll just install it like any other program. When you do, it will come up with a nice little icon here that will ask you to log into a particular Google Drive account. Now this is important. You want to make sure that this is logged into the same account as you would use for Pix.io. And if you're not sure, the way that you can figure that out is you can go into your Pix.io and you can click on the gear icon to bring up your settings menu and then click on the Google Drive icon once that loads, hopefully rather quickly, you will be able to see the email address that you have connected. So it's important to note that you want this to be the same. So whatever you have on Pix.io is what you want to log into on Filestream. Pretty simple, right? Just make sure that these two are the same thing. So now, remembering why we're here and what we're doing, Let's assume that someone gave me a folder that I want to import. So the best thing to do is to tell someone, hey, go ahead and upload or copy your, fo your files or move your files into a file I give you that is already owned by my account. So what we ask people to do, and it's the best thing to do, is to first and foremost put their files into a folder we already own. So that is the case, but this folder, importantly, is not inside the Pix.io working folder. So this is an outside folder that we are using to capture stuff that does not necessarily belong to the digital asset management system. So if I looked at the permissions for each of these files, I'm going to open one in Google Drive here to show you guys, they are owned by a different account. So see, these are actually owned by a gentleman by the name of Zach Harris, who, as you can see over here, is not the owner of the Google Drive account. So that's the issue. If I just move these files in, a lot of the times I can get some permission errors, uh, especially if I'm moving really large quantities of files, like if you're a professional photographer or a media producer uh, like we are. So the proper way to get these files in, and you can do this with pretty decent sized batches, is to find them in file stream, get them into the folder that you have access to, and then create a copy of them using file stream. So I'm going to do just a couple of photos here so we can do this pretty quickly. 
but I can log in on file stream and actually copy entire folders at a time. Of course, it's going to freeze up here. There. Okay, so I can just come in here and then I can copy. And then I'm going to navigate on file stream to the working folder for Pix.io. So for us, it's this folder RB DAM, which stands for Digital Asset Management, DAM for short. So I'm going to put those wherever I want. So let's say I want it to go just right here. Then I would paste it, wait for this copy action to complete. And then importantly, I also want to make sure that it uploads. The way file stream works is it actually creates a temporary copy on your local hard drive and then uses streaming to upload that file to Google Drive and then eventually removes that temporary file from your hard drive. So if you go into your taskbar by default, you can see the file stream icon. And if you hover on that, you can click and see its sync status. And so you want to let all of these files sync. Uh, it actually has a couple of files in the queue that I was working on before I started this video. Um, so I would want to let all of these files sync. And once all those files have completed their sync, I will want to go back to my Pix.io. And then I'll want to go to the gear icon and click sync and sync from Google Drive. Uh, do want to go ahead and wait until this is done um, because otherwise I'll get a partial sync. So ideally wait to sync until Google Drive file stream is reporting 100% complete. Uh, once that's done, you should be good to go. So that's it for this one. That's our best practice workflow for how to import files uh, using file stream. Again, you may ask, why do we do this? The main reason is there's a lot of trickiness with Google Drive and file and uh, file permissions. So if you move large batches of files instead of copying them using the proper account with the right ownership, you can see them effectively not showing up and not importing properly into Pix.io. And the effective reason for this is Google Drive is not great at propagating permissions properly down through folders and subfolders and then subfolders of subfolders all the way down to files. And so if you have thousands of files that you're trying to move into a digital asset management system like we do, uh, it's important to know that all the files get put in properly. And so the best way to do this and to have peace of mind that you know you're getting all the stuff in is to always copy them by using a, an account that is the same account as the owner of Pix.io. And so again, if you want to check that one last time in Pix.io, you can do that just by going into Pix.io settings and checking out the connected to username. So as long as you're basically moving stuff using this username, you're good to go. All right, and we're going to end this one now. If you like this video, please like and subscribe, and we will be sure to bring you more.